Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. So I wanted to talk about this situation with N.A. New and Steve Fulton. Now, there seems to be a bit of an issue. N.A. New seems to have been basically complaining about having to be drug tested twice a week by Vada. You know, um, I don't think that's unreasonable. But then you had people trying to get at Steve Fulton like he out of line for requesting that he take random drug tests. You know, as usual, it's because it was Steve Fulton. It's kind of funny. Like I said, guys like Steve Fulton can't have any type of demands when it comes to negotiating a fight. You know, you just whatever, take whatever we give you in negotiations, shut up and fight. Nah, it doesn't work like that. He has a right to have some demands of his own. And people are sitting up saying any new is being unfairly criticized. No, he's being uh, very fairly criticized for basically acting like a spoiled brat who can't get his way. Now, I'm not going to call him a name like a diva and all that kind of stuff like other people is referring to him. But for the people that's attacking Steve Fulton, he had every right to want to have a even playing field so you can miss me with this i know what you're trying to say you know the typical uh the black dude ain't supposed to have any demands because it's in a new just take what he gives you and be happy Uh uh-uh nah don't work like that yeah i said it because at the end of the day i know what you guys are basically trying to insinuate but you don't have the guts to say it And don't come on here telling me, hey, town, don't make this about race. I can make this whatever the fuck I want to make it about. You don't like what I have to say. Stay off my channel. If you don't feel comfortable with me talking about this subject matter, nobody's forcing you to be here. And don't come on here talking about what somebody else don't do. That's them. Whatever they talk about, that's what they talk about. If that's what you prefer, keep your ass over there. Because I'm going to keep it real on what I believe in. This happens all the time. And like I said before, Steve Fulton is not being unreasonable. This man flew around the world for this fight. And apparently that was in the in the contract. Now I'm going to say once again, I'm not accusing any new of anything. The only thing I'm accusing him of is acting like a spoiled brat who can't get his way. But based off the fact that he is putting up resistance, well, other people may think that and you can't blame them for thinking that. So once again, twice a week, blood and urine urine sample, if, if I'm not mistaken, I don't even know like what type of testing they did. I don't even know for sure that they do blood and urine. But like I said, twice a week, like that's not that big of a deal. And that's not going to affect him or perfect his or, or, you know, basically affect his performance coming up. No, absolutely not. But let me show you guys something. Now, I hope you guys can see this, but this is Floyd Mayweather versus Sugar Shane Mosley. You know, their random drug tests and you have. You know, keep in mind, this is one of the first fights that openly uh, made it be known that they were going to have, you know, you know, basically random drug tests. So, you know, Floyd was kind of like the forefront of, you know, basically initiating this and, you know, big fights now has everybody follow suit. Well, absolutely not. But here goes some of the test dates. Here go Floyd Mayweather's test date. Okay, um, looked like his first one was March 22nd, 2010. Then he had one April the 1st. Then he had another one April the 3rd. Then he had another one April the 6th. So you basically talked about three tests with basically a within a week period. Then he had one on April the 13th. Then he had a, another one on the 21st. Then he had one on the 24th. And then his final on May the 1st after the fight. Okay, so let's look at Sugar Shane Mosley. 
Sugar Shane Mosley had a test on March the 23rd, 2010, uh, March the 29th, March the 31st, April the 7th, um, April the 12th, April the 20th, April the 26th, and then May the 1st. So it looked like Sugar Shane Mosley got a little bit more uh, cushion and a little bit more time in between t tests than Floyd Mayweather did. You know, but at the end of the day, I'm just making this as an example. So twice a week shouldn't be that big of a problem. So once again, this is just coming down to, you know, basically any new just being a, a, a diva about the situation. So, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, come on, man, it's just not that serious. But I just wanted you guys to just see this. But nevertheless, let me know what you guys think. This your boy, Town. I'm out.